To start out, you need to begin by downloading Audacity, um, and the link will be in the description. Click on one of these depending on what kind of computer you have. A pop-up window should appear and tell you how to download it. Um, since I've already downloaded this, I can't really download it again. Next, you need to install the lame encoder. This link will also be in the description. You need to click on this, and then you click on this, and the download process should begin. Yes, this download is also necessary because Windows Live Movie Maker and Movie Maker are only compatible with MP3 audio files, and this gives you the ability to um, convert your audio files into MP3 files. Um, and it should give you a walkthrough on how to download it. Once again, I'm not going to download it because I already have it downloaded. Now I will show you how to record your voice and alter it in Audacity. Um, make sure you've downloaded both Audacity and the Lame encoder. Once you've done so and opened Audacity, it should look something like this. Recording your voice on this takes a lot of practice, and to start out, you just click this little red button up here, and it'll record your voice. If you install the Lime Encoder correctly, it should give you the option to save export the file as an MP3 file, and you must make sure it is an MP3. To do so, you go up to File, and then you click on Export. and you name it whatever you want. And make sure it is an mp3 file. So it would be right there. And you click on save. And then you click on OK. And it's saved. To see how you edit the audio and edit vocals, please skip ahead in the video. Now how to alter songs in Windows Live Movie Maker and Movie Maker using iTunes. Start out by opening iTunes. Once you are in, go to the top left corner, you should see this, and then click on Preferences. A window like this should appear. And what you want to do is click on import settings and then import using, you want to change it to WAV encoder. Then click on OK and then OK. Next, find the song that you wish to edit. I'm going to edit Starlight by Taylor Swift and to do so, right click on it and this pop up menu should be up here. And then click on Create WAV version. A second version of the song should appear. Now open Audacity. Click on File, and then Import, and then Audio. Now I'm under my desktop, and you want to go to Libraries, Music iTunes, which is right there, iTunes Media, Music again. I'm on my desktop and you want to go to Libraries, Music, iTunes, iTunes Media, Music again, and you want to find the artist of the song in which you just created a WAV file for. I had Taylor Swift and then red. There sh usually is um, the first version of the song listed here, but since I burned this song off a CD, it is not listed here, so there should be usually two songs, and you want to pick the second one. Now, how to pitch the audio or edit it will be later on in the video, so for now I'll just show you how to save it. Once you've edited and you just go to export and then you make sure it's click it's mp3 file and then save. 
and okay. Then this should take a little bit longer because it's a long song, or it's an actual song. Now how to, how to alter songs that you either downloaded from the internet or burned off a CD. They should already be in an mp3 file format, so you do the same thing as before. You go to import audio, and then you find wherever that song is located. You do the same as before. You import, and then audio, and then you go, you find the file wherever it is. I do not have any like this, except Starlight, which I did before. But it's the same process minus the conversion of the file to WAV. The process is the same. Go to File, Export, and make sure it is MP3 files, and then Save. For further instruction on how to edit the audio, please skip ahead in the video. This is how to edit and use the various effects on the audio. First open Audacity and then open the song that you want to edit. First I'll show you how to pitch the song so you don't get copyrighted. You want to go to the effect drop down menu and then you click on change pitch and then move this over. You can preview it and you can just select it. I'm just going to select it and then it should have this pop up. Once it is done, it's the same process of saving it. So I'm just going to go to export and then save okay and then it's exporting there are a lot of effects that this editing system can do to your audio and I'm not gonna go through all of them because the video is already gonna be long enough the way it is so if you would like me to make a video just request it down below and I'll be happy to try it out Now how to save it and put it in Windows Movie Maker. My laptop does not have Windows Movie Maker or Live Movie Maker on it. So I will be having to switch laptops now and the process will be the same. I just have an updated version of Movie Maker on the other laptop. In doing so, I have to export the file correctly and then I'm going to email this all to myself and open it on the other laptop. Now open Windows Movie Maker and Windows Live Movie Maker. Start out by inserting a few pictures. For voiceovers, it's a little different. For music, you just click on music and then find wherever you saved it to. It should appear down here, and I think the Windows Live Movie Maker should appear up here depending on which update you have. Voiceovers are a little different um, because for voiceovers you need to get them lined up correctly, so you have to go wherever you want it to start, then add music, and then add music at current point, and then do whatever vocal you want. Now, saving is the same thing, however you would save it normally. 